Why stream in only one place when you can stream in multiple places? With my experience, I've found that TikTok is absolutely huge and unmatched when it comes to exposure and growing your brand in your channel. But let's say you primarily stream on Twitch. How are you going to bring that community from TikTok over to Twitch? The absolute best way to do that is not only by posting short form content on TikTok, but it's done by streaming on both platforms at the exact same time. So let me show you guys how to set up the software side when it comes to streaming to both platforms at the same time. Before we jump in the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Technisport, where ultimate comfort meets peak performance. Technisport delivers the ultimate gaming experience through quality, comfort, and design. Technisport is always rolling out deals and discounts, so keep an eye out for that. As well, you can use code PLAYER2GAMER for a 12% discount. Okay, let's jump back into the video. So you wanna stream on TikTok as well as another platform like YouTube or Twitch. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can do this. One way is if you have a stream key, all you have to do is run two instances of OBS. However, if you don't have a stream key for TikTok, chances are you're not gonna get one anytime soon. It's my understanding that TikTok is no longer giving out stream keys, at least for the short term. So this poses a bit of a complication for us, but don't worry, I got the answer for you. All right, so we've got OBS Studios open right now, and this is what I use to stream to Twitch uh, or YouTube. And my scene is set up by 1920 by 1080, so it's uh, landscape mode. So all I'm gonna do here in OBS Studios now to uh, set up the TikTok stream is go over here and start virtual camera and all you're doing is turning your obs scene into a video source which then can be captured by another broadcast software all right the next thing you're going to need is of course the tiktok live studio itself so all you're going to do is go to tiktok.com slash studio slash download uh, that link is down below and then you're going to come down here and you're going to download the free TikTok Live Studio. Okay, so now you've got the Live Studio open. You need to log in over here. It says log in to begin. Go ahead and click that and log in however you log in to your TikTok account. All right, log in successful. There we go. Now it's going to log you into the actual Live Studio. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got it open. You can see in the live preview here, I've already got my TikTok stream uh, set up how I want it. Uh, so let's show you guys how to start it from scratch by creating a new scene. So just go over here on the left and go add scene. Now you have a few options here. You can stream in landscape mode or portrait mode. Uh, obviously, we stream uh, landscape mode when it comes to Twitch or YouTube. However, I don't feel like landscape mode is the way to go when it comes to TikTok. Uh, just because of the uh, nature of the app itself, it's more of a portrait mode app. You know, all the videos you see uh, that do well, at least, are, you know, they're taking the whole screen up. If you're gonna choose landscape, you got a lot, you got a lot of dead space above and below your video. Those videos don't do well. So I recommend you stream in portrait mode. And we're just gonna go ahead and start with a blank canvas. So let's just go ahead and add that. All right, so let's add our sources. So go on the left here and go ahead and click add source. And what you want to grab here is a capture card. Then you can go up here to your video source and what you want to select is your OBS virtual camera. Go ahead and add the source. And as you can see right here, you've got the video source. By the way, sorry the screen is uh, so small for the live preview. Um, the TikTok live studio is not super great right now, but it's new. Uh, so give it some time. It'll get better. So just go ahead and increase the size and center it. And there you go. You've got your camera down below here. You've got your game uh, screen up top. And of course, you can customize these uh, any way you see fit. The only thing to keep in mind, if you're only using your OBS virtual camera, it is only going to capture exactly what's in, in the middle of your uh, scene on OBS. So if we go back to our OBS here, uh, you're going to see on TikTok is only going to be from this end of the camera up and this end of the camera up as well. Everything on the left and the right side are not gonna be visible on your TikTok Live, which honestly I think is kind of a plus because the goal is to get viewers from TikTok over to your Twitch or your YouTube anyway. So what I'll do is I'll tell my viewers, hey, come over to uh, Twitch or come over to YouTube. You get, you get a much better view, you get the whole gaming screen. Uh, but also be sure to thank everyone who is just sticking around on TikTok because their support is just as important. Now, of course, you'll have to do some customization when it comes to your TikTok studio, you know, putting the camera specific places. If You, you might need to add a, a second camera if uh, your camera is not uh, at the bottom of your OBS scene. Maybe it's on the bottom right or the bottom left. 
uh, you'll have to add another camera. You won't be able to adjust where that camera is if all you're doing is capturing the uh, OBS virtual camera. And since your OBS studio is already using your camera as a source, you're not gonna be able to add your camera or at least the same camera as a source in another broadcasting software. This is what I do. I put my camera uh, kind of in the middle on the right side. So when I capture it on TikTok, it's not actually showing uh, my camera. I'll show you what I mean. So my primary camera for TikTok is this guy right here is a Logitech uh, webcam. And you'll notice right now still my uh, primary DSLR is down here. Uh, that's the one I use for uh, Twitch and for YouTube. That's not actually showing when I stream to uh, TikTok. And then as you can see right here, I plug in my Twitch to try to draw uh, traffic from TikTok over to Twitch. So all of that seems maybe a little confusing, but it really isn't once you get your hands on it and start doing it yourself and setting up your scenes. To start, keep it simple. Give yourself only one scene in TikTok and then just leave it alone and then control your Twitch and your YouTube stream uh, the way you would. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the sub button to see more gaming content. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions of videos that you guys want to see or any questions you have that you want answered, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them or maybe I'll make a video for you. And until next time, remember we're not gamers because we have no lives, but because we choose to have many. Cheers.